Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the first episode of Afrobeat Buzz Presents Live Room Sessions with Mo Easy. So this is our first guest. Hi, everyone. <laughs> um, my name's Tia from Afrobeat Buzz, and we also have the lovely. I'm Denise, everybody. <laughs> and our special guest today is, like I said before, Mo Easy. Would you like to introduce hey, yourself? Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Mo Easy. I actually never knew he was the first one. But you so, are so launching the first one. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so yeah, my name is Moezy. Um, I'm a singer, songwriter, actor, and uh, amongst a few other things. So yeah, I'm glad to be here. We're <laughs> very happy to have you here. Okay. So, Mr. Moezy, yes, would you like you to? Mister. Yeah, no, we no, have no, to. No. We have to. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to introduce yourself for those that don't know? Um, those who don't know me, my name is Moezy. Um, uh, my birth name is Moses Abuela. Um, but known as Mo Easy. I um I uh, I'm a singer, songwriter, actor. Um I play the role or oh, on the acting scene, I play the role Collins in Jennifer's Diary. And I also play the role Easy on Industry Street. Um and yeah, you know, first single off the label, the fresh label, SLP owned by Funky Akindelic Bello and JJC Skills is a Mantinga, which is doing currently doing very well at the moment. You know, we're getting set to do the second video, which is now we featuring Run Town. Um, you know, we have, we have a whole load coming out, you know, we're also in the process of shooting season two of Industry. Well done. So, <laughs> there's a lot going on, there's a lot, yeah. Okay. Okay, you've given us a little background about yeah. your music and stuff. Who do you feel has been a major influence over your music style and project? Wow, over my music style, who's been a major influence? I would have to say, um, Wow, I, um, it's generally just a day-to-day -day thing, you know, like experiences, you know, from family to friends to, you know, different things that uh, really inspire me, you know. Um, aside that, you know, I could mention a few artists, but I would say pretty much anybody really doing good music. You know, like for that, for that, it could be a spur of the moment thing where somebody comes in. Well, if you had to like round really it down good. to three people, I mean, who would you say has been International or African? Whatever you like. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to round it to three people who influenced my music, um, I'll definitely say Fela. Fela is definitely in there. Okay. Um, I'll definitely have to put that in there. Um, I will say uh, Asha. It's interesting. I'll definitely say that. I'll definitely say Asha because these are the people I really um, listen to. Um, Hard, you know, um, and um, because I am a rapper, so I, I would definitely have to put like a Kanye West in there. That's interesting, yeah. Kanye West. Why, of all rappers, why Kanye West? Uh, because I feel like he's he's a character. He's not he's not just an artist, you know. Like he he um, he really uh, shows you what he's saying rather than just he's very descriptive with what he does, and I feel like that's important. Great. Yeah. So, <laughs> your first single. Would you like to? Well, off the new label track, and not yeah. even your first single in general, but yeah. your first single off the label, would you like to talk a bit about it and the title? Yeah, it's titled Antia. You know, it, once I say Antia, a lot of people start laughing. They yeah. think I'm in <laughs> big Antia, but I don't. You know, um, it's amazing. Um, you know, we the video, wow, I, I don't know what to say about it. We had almost every top A list um, Nollywood. actresses, Nollywood, yeah. up in there. You know, you had the likes of Tokyo Makinwa, mm -hmm. you had uh, Ron Keo Shodioke, you had Moea Bebe, you had Mrs. Funke Akinele Bello herself. Yes. You know, uh, you had Lolo, you had Chiga, mm -hmm. you had Tommy Kerr, um, you had, I mean, the list goes on. VJ Adams, you know, we had a good time. Um, it was a battle of the Antinias against the young model girls yeah. <laughs> yeah. so it's really cool it's really good i mean they really they really went in for it um you know and i'm just grateful for that so that's the first single and right now i think we're doing pretty well i think over 300k views and it's maybe the well second done month. So well really done, well. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> okay so um are there any other afrobeat artists you'd like to collaborate with in the industry at the moment um, I'm working with quite a few at the moment um, already, and some are still in the pipeline, which we're trying to get to work with. Um, but you're definitely going to hear a lot, you know, um, working with different people, because really and truly, that's where you challenge yourself on a creative note. You know, how would I balance with, with this type of artist, or how would I jig it? So for me, I'm willing to work with anybody and work with everybody, you know, and we have songs with quite a yeah. few already. So 
So, Mr. Mo Easy, I'm gonna, I'm the always gonna, I'm gonna put the Mister. Mister. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna put the Mister. I'm young. <laughs> <laughs> your musical background, should I say, or should I say your musical journey? Yeah. How did Mo Easy come about? Where did Mo Easy come from? Um, uh, my musical journey. I mean, Mo came from Moses, obviously. Um, but the Easy was just always a description of of myself, like. Um, I think when I was younger, I used to do songs and just play it to people, brothers and executives, and I'd be like, yo, this is laid back. This is quite easy, you know? Um, and also I had a friend that every time he sees me, he just shout, easy. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, that's where it pretty much came from. So, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not, a, I'm, I'm a laid back person. So put it that way. So that's where it came from. So I'm more easy. So in terms of like your actual journey, like how did you start? How did you get into music? How did I get into music? Um, it's a cliche because a lot of people say, ah, oh, it's from when I was young. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. But I say to God, it really is like it was from when I was young. I felt like it got to a point where I felt like I couldn't talk to people. So what I'll do is I'll write Put it, it in down. Music. I'll write it down and eventually that became something I was putting on tracks, you know? So it's almost like the, the music became a shrink for me. Mm -hmm. So I'd listen to it and it's, it's a case of you're talking to people without talking to them. You're telling them your problems without exactly. telling them. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And, that's how it sort of started, you know, it became a passion um, from a shrink to a passion. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's how it is. Um, do you feel culture, especially Yoruba culture, um, has an influence over your musical style and sound? Definitely, you know, um, for me, I'm, I'm, I'm all about learning more about my culture and putting my culture more into my music. You know, I, I feel like that's what will make, create a big difference in, in the music realm of Mo Easy. You know, um, we can all do pop and do different yeah. records and stuff like that. But what you know about your culture and you put inside your music is what will set you apart, I guess. So, I mean, I know a bit of background that you were actually here. <laughs> <laughs> so how was that transition like from here to Nigeria and why? Why, why was it? I mean, I, I never left Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> I never left Nigeria. And even whilst I'm here, I'm, I'm in with the community. Do you understand? Like, I'm still with the with the Nigerian community. Be it Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, we we still chill. We still do what we do. You know, nobody ever forgot. You know, even your language that far. You mm -hmm. know. So, but for me, going back and really going at it was was taking it a step further, taking the music a step further, because when when I sort of kicked off here, um, you know, it was getting small attention and stuff like that. I felt like you know you have to you can't be relaxed or be content with that. You know, um, same thing with JJC skills. Mm. He's just reinventing mm -hmm. himself, you know, covering new ground and going over there is just learning about the sound because the sound that you have over there is different from here. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So learn about that, learn more about the culture and, you know, um, meet with create other creative minds, you know, and try to create something fresh from your knowledge and their knowledge and, you know, let's push the industry forward. Um, so... I seem like I came ready for you guys, right? <laughs> You're ready. Pro proper ready, very ready. <laughs> okay. okay, Afrobeat is really, really blowing up here in London at the yeah. moment. Um, where do you feel that it's leading to? Like, do you feel that it's an international sound? What, what do you feel about Afrobeat in general? Um, I feel like Afrobeat is, is, um, is something that's a, a force to reckon with now. Because then you, you now have American A-listers mm. that want to know what's going on with, <laughs> with artists in Nigeria or in Africa mm -hmm. or who are African or who are putting some sort of culture. You know what I mean? Like, you, you can look at it like David Doe did a song and the hook is Yoruba and he has A-list <laughs> American artists in it, you know, so, but it sounds good. And even though they don't know what we're saying, they know that, you know what, this is some sort of culture, you know, um, I feel like a lot of people are after that culture. And wherever you put, if you put enough culture in what you do, they yearn to learn more. But if you do the same thing as everybody else, <laughs> you know, it's just like, okay, it's another pop record. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So how did your, um, I mean, for those that don't know, you actually did a, a single with an UK artist here. <laughs> how did that come about? And for those that don't know, who is that UK artist? Um, it, it, that actually happened. I used to work with, um, with a, a family uh, of mine. Um, who is now in the States and does production for the likes of Chris Brown, Kelly Rowland and, and the guys. So um, it was actually off the back of him. Okay. You know, he, he was doing his thing and um, I was just pulled in like, okay, do this, do this. That. So when I did the one with Nate James, actually, funny enough, I was working. I used to work here like properly and um, 
I'd be in the store and I'd be hearing the song and they're playing it. And you know when they're playing it and um, nobody knows it's me. Yeah. So I used to just hide my head and work. And, <laughs> you know, it was really crazy. But I mean, I'm thankful for that. I did a uh, radio edit with um, Craig David and also a song with uh, Nate James, which I was on a remix of, and which actually went top 10, which was really cool. So, yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> Now, um, let's just talk about your most recent single. Yeah. Okay, tell us about this single and what's the message in this song? Um, uh, now we, now we features Runtown. Runtown. Um, it, it's a song that I have dropped um, a, before, but you know, like you never really drop a song to you drop a video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what we're about to do is drop the video and really push the song. The song is just, just states a transition of young kids doing their thing from one end to another, you know, like um from from the bad life to the good life you know, like, <laughs> basically you know um, and that's basically it. and nobody else could fit that track or do justice to that track than run town so that's actually how it happened we actually recorded that song in london oh wow i was trying to record it out in the in uh, nigeria yeah. and his schedules were just crazy. crazy so when he came here and i was around i was like yo let's, quickly let's do make it. it work yeah mm. So, um, also just talking quickly about, because you're not just an artist, you're also an actor. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> also Amen. an actor. What was it like working, what is it like for uh, a musician working within Nollywood? Or, what, you know, what's the two? How, um, how do you merge the two? It's, I don't know how to answer that question, but to say, you know, it's, it's by grace, pretty much, if I can say that. Um, because you're working with someone who is very tedious at what she does. And that's Miss Funky Akin Yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, Big shout out, Mama. Uh, <laughs> like, like, she will stretch you, you know, and make you do things that you don't know you can do. Mm -hmm. Or you never knew you could do. You know, um, i.e. acting, you know. Um, aside from putting, because it's not just a movie, it's a series. series. Yeah, which means you have to eat that character. Like, you need to be that character. You know, and she makes sure every expression is right, every word is said right, every movement, every outfit, you know, like she really does all this, to the scripts writing, you know, mm. she's there, she does the whole thing. She knows so it, she's on point. <laughs> she, she really knows what she's doing and um, it's just a blessing to be able to work with her, you know, and grow um, under her mentorship. Great. Any questions? Um, let's um, hear more about your acting career. My acting. Yeah. Um, what has been your major role? Acting, the most interesting role you've done so far? Oh, wow. Um, industry. <laughs> I think okay. I'd have to say. Okay. Um, industry, I think the what, from the first couple of episodes, I had to do like intense kissing with Jane. Oh. And like everybody's there watching, you know, that's the first time you have to do something. Like yeah. That, and, just, like, and they're like, cut again. <laughs> cut. You didn't do right again. You know, you're like, you're like, yo, guys. <laughs> you know, but. That that was was somehow, uh, but yeah, I mean, I enjoyed every moment of it. It's just it's a it's a it's a learning curve, and um, I'm sure if they give me a big arrow next time, I will do it. <laughs> I'm better. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what's next for you? Um, we're shooting currently shooting season two for industry right now, um, which I'm supposed to get to, and also, you know, in Col Collins in Jennifer's diary actually has his passport now. So he might go to Nigeria. Nigeria. You never know. Might, <laughs> you know, um, I keep saying that he just might. Um, we have a stage Little play coming up as well next year. Uh, Jennifer's Diary stage play tour, which is, will be the tour across America, UK, and um, Africa as well. Um, I'm working on an EP and an album. So hopefully, Ooh. beginning of next year, the EP will drop with um, so many different names, artists featured on it, um, and stuff like that as well. You know, so we're just trying to do a lot. I'm trying to. Um, make sure I cover all grounds, you know, as, as much as I can and as best as I can. Okay. Any questions? And for those who are watching right now and who want a career in the music industry or acting, what would you, what advice would you give yeah. to people like the youths out there who are really interested in this genre of music? Oh, wow. Um, I, I wouldn't even say this genre of music, I'd say just in life in general, you know, um, number one thing is always believe in yourself. You know, you will always find people who will put you down, you know, down to your own flesh and blood, you know, like people will put you down, but always believe in yourself and always put God first. You know, that that's the most important thing and always keep real people around you, mm -hmm. people who will tell you not just hail you at the time, mm -hmm. but tell you when you're going wrong, you know, because sometimes you get into this stuff and you never know the fame could change you or the money can change you. 
And if it hasn't changed you, then you haven't made enough. <laughs> but really and truly, if, if, if you have real people around you yeah. and you're going left, they'll be able to sway you and hold you right, you know. So, but yeah, just be prayerful, yeah? yeah. One last question. So if you were to define your music and you in three words, what would you say? Well, my music and me in three words. Um, uh, passion, um, culture, and easy. Why? <laughs> I'm gonna ask why. Passion, passion, because it's it's like I've I've made so much sacrifices for it, and that's because of the passion. Okay. You know, um, culture, because I'm always yearning to learn more about my my culture and other people's culture. You know, um, and just you know use that to the best of my advantage. Easy, because yo, you know, you just gotta take things easy, man. You can't take things too hard. You know? Yeah. Well, thank you very much for this um, little quick interview. What we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to go into, we're going to have a little ad break and then Mo Easy, I was going to say Mr. Yeah, <laughs> but Mo <thank> Easy, <laughs> <laughs> he's going to go into a little performance of his two latest single, Anti Year and Now we And Heritage featuring. at its best from talk shows that concern you both local and international news that relates to you. From grassroots football to African children's programs, Heritage Television, we cover your social and special events like weddings, birthdays, church anniversaries and so on and broadcast them live on our apps and online. Heritage Television, broadcasting everything about culture and heritage. Heritage, Heritage Television. Television. We've got, We've it, got covered. it covered. Do download our apps on both Android, iOS, and Windows mobile platform. Heritage, Heritage Television. Television. Your very, Your very own, own TV, TV station. TV station. Heritage, heritage television. television promoting african culture and heritage at its best from talk shows that concern you to both local and international news that relates to you from grassroots football to african children's programs heritage television we cover your social and special events like weddings birthdays church anniversaries and so on and broadcast them live on our apps and online heritage television broadcasting everything about culture and heritage heritage, heritage television. television we've got, we've it, got covered. it covered do download our apps on both Android, iOS, and Windows mobile platform. Heritage, Heritage Television, Television, your very, your own, very own TV, TV station. station.
into the studios guys this is heritage tv you have been watching the first afrobeat buzz live room show i'm your host tr and and, and and i'm your number one, of the number, <laughs> one of number one and yeah i mean to follow me on my social media is i i am I am Moezy. That's I A M M O E A Z Y. So make sure you do follow me and let's continue. Is that every also, social media platform? Every on single social media platform. I am Moezy. So yeah, catch me on on, you say on Heritage else? and catch me and you know learn you about your heritage. Yeah, yeah. yeah, learn about your heritage. The learn first. The first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Until next week. Catch ya. See ya Thank later. You. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So we can just we can, maybe you wanna. Hold, yeah. <laughs> I, told, I told you I had Darcy. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. You did. Yeah. You she. You actually convinced us. convinced us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh.
I'm very particular about people taking photos. <laughs> 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 Okay, I can take this. <laughs>